took his first round. I mean, uh, I'd have to say Monterosa because uh, Monterosa, he, he kind of controlled the second half of the fight. I think he did a little bit more damage. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd have to give him that round. Yeah, he's, he was a tough kid. I agree with you. He, uh, he had the finishing edge. We can see in that replay, beginning of the round, Pac-Man started strong. Walk us through that, Cub. Was that, was that, did he do the right thing? Was he getting those right positions? Yeah, I mean, right here, he did a great job of transitioning from the back to the head and arm choke. All he needed to do was get his hips all the way to the mat. And, you know, uh, I won't say it in different terms than we say in the gym, but yeah, you want to get your <laughs> hips down. You want to get flat, and that puts the most pressure. Yeah, very close first round. In the eyes of our main man, Cup Swanson, Monterosa took that first round. Very close, though. We'll have to see how Pac-Man will handle the beginning of the second. As he kind of, he looked a little bit gassed out in the end of that first. Yeah, um, he, he's that, definitely going to need to pace himself. Time. He's got yeah. one minute to recover, listen to his coaches, come back and try to put that game plan into play. Second round underway. Oh, with Kylie the head Pen kick right off the bat. Right off the bat. And that he was good for Monteroso. Yeah, that was good for Monteroso. Timed that kick perfectly already in Pac-Man's full guard. Pac-Man is busy, though. He's trying to move. Do you prefer to close that full guard, or is it if you prefer to keep it open so you can move your hips around a lot I, more? I want it open, you know, because even if he tries to pass the guard, you usually can, can create space and create a scramble. Holding closed guard is only keeping the guy on top of you. If you're trying to, trying to you know, take a breath really quick and, and secure and not get hit, that's a good position, but you need to open it up and try to get up. Here he is getting his back taken again. And Monteroso on Pac-Man's back once again. You can see that blood. Monteroso's back, and he's sinking in for that rear naked choke. He's spinning to the right place. He's already got both hooks in. He's yep. still got four minutes to work that position. That's dangerous. It's, it's tighter. Yeah, Pac-Man doing like the right. Yeah, he's not fully committing to it. And Pac-Man doing the right thing, trying to push that arm up. But he, Monteroso's sinking it in. Not quite towards his back yet. He's kind of a little sideways. Yeah, I think Monteroso's the, the smarter fighter of the two so far. He, you know, I think uh, Pac-Man has the, has the physical advantages, but he is not using them intelligently. I totally agree. Now Monteroso going for that mount. Oh, Didn't nice work his way. Pac-Man got back up very wise, very technical, back on top. The crowd getting on their feet right now as the fan favorite, turning this fight around. Then again, how much of his gas tank did he waste going to that bat? Monteroso has his back on the canvas now. Now he's in deep waters. Yeah, he looks pretty gassed too. And and he's got a he's bleeding and now he's getting elbows rained on him. So you know that's that's something you don't want to do is get a cut split open and then it get bigger and bigger because the judges are just gonna look at that and go, man, this guy's taking a lot of damage. Looks like the cuts on the bridge of his nose one of them it looks like he has two cuts yeah and pac-man's being smart aiming for that same cut he's looking to open that same cut with short elbows when you're in this position elbows are what's going to do the most damage you got short spaces to work with yeah exactly and especially if you're tired and you you don't have limited amount of energy elbows are going to be your best bang for your buck i totally agree pac-man on top halfway Done with round two. First round was a close round. Cub gave it to Monteroso. Pac-Man now turning things around. He's got Monteroso in a bad spot. He opened that cut a lot more now, Cub. We see him bleeding from different places. He's still got two minutes to go. What's his modest operandi now? Wow, he just kind of kicked him off there. Going for that high kick, trying to throw that elbow once again. Monteroso with his back against the cage, but Pac-Man clearly showing that he's tired. Yeah, he didn't even defend that takedown. He just fell over. Man, these guys are these guys are getting it everything they got, you know, so I, I can respect that. Yeah. Monterosso got Pac-Man's back once again. Close to the cage. You can see he's using that leg under his, uh, his other Definitely a wrestler. Leg. That's what yes. I figured. He's got a wrestling background because, you know, the way he scooped up the leg and he's sitting there and not trying to get hooks in, yeah. it, he's a wrestler. Monteros on his back, and I gotta say something, Cub. Hey, Aaron J, we see you, brother. Thanks for thanks for following us. Thanks for watching, sticking around. We see you. Cub sees you. I see you. Thanks for sticking around, brother. Monteros on top once again. 
Now Pac-Man tired, a little over a minute to the end of the second round. But then again, there's blood everywhere, so it's hard to go for that submission. Blood makes everything more difficult. Pac-Man in a tough place, Monterosa on his back, sticking to him like glue, flattening him out. 50 seconds left, he's looking dangerous. Monterosa smelling that blood, Pac-Man can't be taking that damage. Yeah, and being flattened out like that, the referee's gonna look for a stoppage. And it's over. There it is. Monterosa takes the win, what an upset. Yeah, that's a huge upset. Pac-Man fan favorite, <laughs> had the crowd waiting for him. Monterosa weathered the storm, had a tough first round. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know what that celebration was. I'm, I'm curious. I'll tell you what, that's probably a celebration of a man that got a little banged up and is pretty tired and can't move his arms very well. <laughs> and that's it for the first post limb of the night. We are live from the Commerce Casino. I am Max Suarez, a pleasure to be with you guys. You originally hear me from Brazil, but it's a pleasure to be in my hometown of California alongside SoCal legend, Killer Cup Swanson. Thank you guys for sticking around. Cup, walk us through this fight. Well, that, right that off kick. the bat in the second round, Pac-Man goes for the head kick and then gets taken down. You know, it was, it, I think he took too many risks in this thing. You know, he, he had the reach and he didn't use it. He, he kept putting himself in bad positions. I think he pretty much lost himself this fight. I think, you know, he had a lot of opportunities to put himself in good positions. And uh, little monster, Monteroso, just, you know, gritted through it and did what he needed to do to win. Yeah, he definitely showed the world that he is a little monster. He had a tough first round, a tough beginning. Pac-Man definitely had that hype behind him. A lot of people in the crowd sticking around to watch. Tough loss, but hey, I gotta tell you, Monteroso proved himself tonight and deserves the win. He pushed through it. And now we hand it to my main man, Mike Kendall, for the official result of the first post limb of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Rafael Davis, calls a stop to the fight. Four minutes, 13 seconds into the second round, declaring your winner by TKO, Meffy, Little Monster, Monteroso. And that's it, Monteroso taking the win, weathering the storm. We got a quick five minute break for our second post limb of the night. Stay tuned. If your beer's done, go ahead, get up, crack that second cold one open, Cub. Yeah, I mean, while the bar is still open, you might as well take advantage. Especially exactly. after, you know, the hometown guy loses, you go, go have a drink. Exactly, crack it open and we'll see you in five. <laughs> 